If you're looking to have better distance control with your Sterling irons for chipping, then I've got three things here that can hopefully help you out, help you out with that. The first thing is to check your contact, uh, where you're hitting the ball in the club face. And why that's important is uh, if you hit it in the center, uh, where the center of mass and gravity is, that's where you're going to get the most ball speed. So it's going to think of like a direct direct uh, head-on collision. Uh, it's going to have the highest energy transfer. And then the more that you strike away from that center, the more ball speed is going to be lost. So if you're if you check and then you're striking the ball all over the face, you could have the same, be using the same club, be using the same swing, be swinging the same speed, but hitting all over the face is going to affect the ball speed, so the distance control is going to be affected as well. So how you can check that is get some of this Dr. Scholl's Odorex foot powder spray. It doesn't have to be this particular brand or this kind, but just something that you can spray on the club face there. And when you do that, spray a little on the club face there, and then you hit a few, uh, five or ten balls, there's going to be little imprints of where the ball struck the club face. And you can kind of see your strike pattern. Now, generally, I'd recommend with a chipping practice like this, doing this from uh, the fringe versus the really thick rough, because if it's the ball sitting down in the thick rough, the grass blades are going to get all in the way. And... Um, the, the spray is going to kind of get wiped off. It'll be hard to tell where your strike pattern is. So try and do this from the fringe. And just see, spray a little bit on, hit a few balls, see where your contact pattern is. And then work on trying to reduce that dispersion to and hit it as consistently as you can in the, in the center or, or wherever you're trying to strike it. Um, sometimes with chipping, you don't always want to strike it in the center. So that's the first thing. Just check your contact there. Make sure you're consistently hitting it in the same spot, hitting it where you want every time. The second thing would be to try to be as smooth as you can when you're chipping and not have any short little back swings and then jerk and, and hit at it and pop at it. And there's a couple of reasons for that, why that's important. First, Day to day, we, we all have, our bodies are all, we feel a little bit different. One day we feel a little bit better, next day we don't feel as good. And there's just fluctuations to how we all feel every day. So if you can remove, if you can be a little bit smoother and work a little bit more with a pendular action, so taking it back and then riding the, uh, taking the club back as far as you need to and then riding the club face through impact, you're going to be working a little bit more with gravity. And gravity day to day is, going to, is the same Monday as it is Tuesday as it is Wednesday. So gravity is the same all the time. So if you can remove a little bit of that, that human effort and, and trying and just be more smooth, be more relaxed, work with a pendular type motion, uh, that's going to help uh, your distance control as well. Um, and then also uh, another reason for that being smooth is that if you think about a tether ball going around a maypole, if there's no tension, jerkiness in the string, that ball's going to come around to the same point in space every time. However, if you put a little bit of jerkiness, a little twinge in it, then it's going to affect, it's not only going to not quite look as good, not going to be as smooth, um, it's uh, not going to come around to the same point in space every time, and you're not dealing with a large amount of space to be have consistent contact here. So ideally, just be as smooth as you can and, and work with the pendular motion and then just ride the pendulum through, and that's going to help you... Uh, be a little bit more consistent, but then it's going to help you with your distance control as well. And then, so those are two things. The third thing is more of a, uh, a drill to, let's, if you don't say you don't uh, practice a lot, you don't get a chance to play a lot, or even if you do and you're still struggling with a little bit of feel, 
um, on your chipping and how, how far to take it back, then what you can do is uh, do this three practice swing drill, or you can do just two if you want. So just a couple swings. The first one, make a practice swing and do so with a speed that you know is going to be way short. And then uh, just kind of get a feel for that. And then uh, you can do one that's a little bit more than, than the first one, but still not going to get to the target. Um, and then for the third one, do it a little bit more and with uh, an, enough that you think is going to get there that time. So it's kind of a way of just getting a little sense of how much effort your body needs to, to, to put in to get that distance down. So you can do that with three, three swings, two swings. Try and do it maybe when your other competitor, other playing partners or competitors are, are doing their thing so that you're not holding up play when you're doing that. Um, or you can also, instead of building up the amount of swing that you need to make, you need to make or take, do one that's way, that you know is going to be way short, do one that you know is going to be way long, and then when you have the short and the long, then it's just kind of for that last one, you kind of dial it into roughly what you think it's going to take to do that third one. So that's more of a drill, I guess, or, or a little thing that you can do before you're hitting your chip. So those are the three things. Check your content, the foot powder spray. Make sure you're just striking it as consistently as you can. What will help with that? will uh, be swinging smooth, working with a pendular type motion and, and just riding the pendulum as best as you can. And then uh, working with a three, two or three practice swing drill to toggle in the uh, uh, amount of, uh, how, how much you need to take the, the club back in the backswing to get it to your target. So try those three things. Hopefully those will help. Uh, and um, put them into practice and hopefully your distance control uh, will improve quickly and also over time.